My name is Shantae Batsky. I am a Wiradjuri woman. I lived all around Sydney and now living in Melbourne. singing lessons uh, until I left high school. My singing teacher, I would still say, was Whitney Houston during this time. Um, she was my inspiration. I remember the time I actually first saw her. I was seven years old. I just was in so much shock. I was I ran into my mum and said, Mum, Mum, you must see this lady on TV. She's so beautiful and she's my colour. And at that time, I grew up in a family of just, um, I'm half Australian, of course, actually, Chinese, German, Aboriginal and Welsh. Um, but I was the only dark one. It was that moment that I saw that there's a possibility of hope to, to be what I feel that I'm born in this world to be, is to sing. So it was quite a significant moment. I've just come back from New York. I did a uh, intensive at the Belliati um, Centre for the Arts uh, in Queens. It's changed my life in so many ways. First trip overseas, and um, I've come back with so so much more confidence, so much more clarity on where I want to go, and built a strong relationship with people in New York. The positive feedback um, I did receive was that I have quite a, um, a, a big voice um, which suits to Puccini and to Verdi and, and the larger Mozarts, uh, which is always good for the voice to sing. Um, they were very um, happy with the way that I express my music, my emotions and my stage presence and um, they said I was a pleasure to work with so I hope that was good. <laughs> My dad, Wally Carr, is a famous boxer. He was called the uh, Muhammad Ali of Australia because he used to dance around the ring. My dad has gone through so much in his life, being uh, given away to other family members because his mum wasn't well. Um, was treated really badly and meeting her one day in the cotton field to becoming a famous boxer, living on the street, um, becoming an alcoholic um, and I found him one day um, coming home to see him, found him on laying outside um, his apartment and it was that day that he gave alcohol up. He later met this wonderful lady, Gail Sabo, who helped him write his biography and now he travels the country um, sharing his story. The resilience and the strength that he has, um, I feel that whenever I go out and I stand on the stage that um, he's my dad, so his genes are in me, <laughs> but I, I stand on his shoulders. Yeah, he's an amazing man.